I'm Stacy Kemp, and this is my life. I am a mom, wife, an attorney, and most of all, a business owner. As a business owner, we all know there are a lot of responsibilities involved, and that is why I came up with Kemp's Causes. Good morning. Welcome back to Kim Causes, our fourth um, episode. We are so excited to be back and congratulate the winner of the third episode, which was Bishop Larkin Catholic School. Congratulations. Good job, guys. Hey, Stacey. I have a Dr. Saviano here to see you. Dr. Mike is with Integrated Medical Center. He is a chiropractor and a very good one in the area, and he is here to present to you a, some information about car accident cases, some things to do, not to do, and also information on common car accident injuries. So why don't you first talk to us about what we should do when we're in an accident? Well, I'd like to first make it very simple, and I always have the three to-dos if you're in a car accident. The first thing that I always recommend to people is to get checked out. Um, most of the injuries that you'll occur, some of them you'll feel right away. Some of them may take a day, 72 hours, even a week later. The most disappointing thing for me is when I have a patient come in and they're like, I was in a car accident a month ago and it just really never went away. So the first thing to do is at least get checked out and then you can proceed from there. Number two thing that I suggest is I suggest patients actually talk to their doctors and follow through with the doctor's care plan. A doctor may recommend another facility to do a consultation. I know in my practice, we might recommend a CAT scan, an MRI, a brain scan for patients that have had concussions. So just to really follow through with all your doctor's recommendations if you were involved with a car accident. The third to do is, is really all about communication. Most patients are afraid to complain. You know, yeah, I have a neck pain, but my, my back is, is hurting, or they don't want to tell me, like, they don't, want, they don't want to be a burden. But in all reality, in order for all of the doctors, because we do work as a team, for all of us to, to give you the best care, we need to have a comprehensive understanding of what's going on with each individual patient. If you get hit from the rear, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> is that Chris laughing? The spine also consists of cushion shock absorber called disc, and of course spinal nerves, muscles, and ligaments. That's gotta be something. <laughs> When MRI results come back and show bulges and herniations, can you explain to our viewers what exactly that means? So a disc herniation is very similar to a jelly donut. When you're involved in a whiplash type injury and you put pressure on the front or the back of the disc, that compression of the disc will cause the jelly to escape and go outside the dough. It's a perfect analogy for a herniated disc. Once that jelly has escaped the dough, it can cause pain, numbness, tingling down the arms, into the shoulders, and of course you get pain down the legs. So if you have any of those symptoms, it's imperative to get checked out. Dr. Mike, we can't thank you enough for coming out here today and explaining these injuries to our audience and helping them understand the type of injuries they get from accidents and the process that they should take. So thank you again so much, we appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me here today, and it was my pleasure. Thank you everyone and congratulations again to Bishop Larkin for winning episode three of Kemp's Causes. Please remember, share the post, nominate the causes, reach out to causes that are important to you, get them to enter Kemp's Causes week four, where we wanna see some new causes out there and a lots of votes. So everyone, good luck and share, like, and comment on Kemp's Causes. Have a great week.
Each week, Kemp Rouge and Green will donate $1,000 to one of Kemp's causes. Kemp's causes can range from schools, youth sports, dance groups, rotary clubs, or even just an individual or family that needs a helping hand. As long as the cause is local, meaning inside Hernando, Hillsboro, Pinellas, or Pasco County, then they are eligible to enter. Please, no political campaigns. In order to nominate a cause, all you have to do is look at our weekly video on our YouTube channel, Kemp Causes Playlist. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment under the video with the cause you would like to nominate. You can only nominate one cause per week. We will calculate the winner based on the amount of likes or thumbs up your comment receives. If you do win, you are not eligible to win again for 90 days. Please invite your friends, family, anyone you can think of to vote for your cause. This contest will run each week from Monday when we post our video until that Friday morning at 9 a.m. On Friday morning, we will calculate the likes and announce the winners that day. We will open nominations again on every single Monday. Let us know if you have any questions or need any assistance. Good luck!